Hello once again, Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Well, here it is, the late 70s going on to 1983. And you know what? So much of the music today is pre-programmed electronic disco that we never get to hear a master bluesman practicing their craft anymore. Oh, wait a minute. That's an intro from one of the Blues Brothers songs. Actually, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some neat little Japanese figures from Fujimi. Here you get these wonderful two Japanese girls from the 1970s. And those little figures would be awesome in your 1972 Toyota 11 or even in your 1968 Nissan Bluebird model kit. Now, if you want to see those two model cars, stay tuned till the end of the video and I will post a little video link showing you where to find those great videos. But for now, uh, let's check out these two nice Japanese girls as we take a look at them today on Monster Hobbies What's in the Box. So without further ado, let's go down to our bench and check out these figures. So here we have Hasegawa's wonderful 1970s girl figures. I did think I said Fujimi when I opened up this video, so that's my mistake. But yes, these are Hasegawa hobby figures. And boy, are they wonderful. I love this street scene we've got here in old Tokyo back in the 70s. And you can see the blue jeans and the red frill shirt, which is really cool. As well as this long dress, sort of short at the knees or just above the knees. And again, the little handbag. So these are really wonderful. And here you can see how big they are compared to a human hand. That they're just sort of underneath your thumb and fingers. So basically about that tall. Again, 124 scale and really wonderful. So let's take a look at the side of the box. Here you can see the painted figures standing together looking just like the box art. That is them in the front. And here we have them in the back as well as the facial details which look really wonderful. And then here we've got the plastic figures as they are in gray primer. So I'm just going to bring this picture up just so you can see how realistic those figures actually look. Whoever painted them is definitely a master at painting. So if we remove the lid from our models here, what we have right away is the instruction sheet. And then here you can see this really interesting pink, almost, well, I don't know if it's a skin tone type of plastic. And all of this is in a bag. And then we have our decal sheet right in here, hiding behind the plastic trees. And all these include our eyes. And luckily we have a few sets of them, just so that if you lose one, you've got more to back up. The instructions for our 1970s girls figures is the long format. And here we have both parts trees A and B, as well as a whole bunch of information in Japanese and paint colors down below. Here we have the instructions for both Girl A and Girl B. Now Girl A is a little more rock and roll, I guess. She's sort of out in the country or maybe the wild teenager, I don't know. But what we have is her head. And then we've got the back of her head, which is molded into the back of her back. <laughs> and then we have right and left hand side, looks like hair. And then here we have her arms and then her legs and the shoes are molded in as well. And then down here we have all our paint call outs for front and back. And then over here we have the more, I guess, well-dressed figure B. And here we also have her head and the right and left hand parts of her hair as well as the back of her hair. And then we have her arm and a separate hand, the shoulder bag, her long dress, or well, I don't know, you know, medium height. I'm not into women's fashion here, <laughs> so I don't know exactly what kind of dress this is, but it's basically 70s. We also have her arm here with the hand molded in place. Then we have both her legs. And what looks like one is molded to the dress, actually. And we also have some shoes to put on the bottom of her feet. Now down here we have all the paint callouts, which again match that chart. And we do have the decals going in for their eyes. But basically here she is from the front and the back with all the paint details. Here we have the two plastics parts trees and it is clear which girl is A and which one is B. And what we have here is all the arms and the torso parts and everything else. One thing that's interesting is 
This is actually box framed around in here, which I've never really seen this done before on a plastics parts sprue. So that actually protects a lot of the curves and whatever in here from getting damaged in the box. And then down on this parts tree, we also have B. Oh, I guess it's not telling you which girl it is. It's telling you which part tree it is, A and B. So on B, we have a bunch of the hair bits, the shoes, and one of the girl's faces. So just clearing this out of the way, let's take a look at this up in the camera. And here you can see just how wonderful these moldings are. Look at that. You got all those nice buttons down the front of the dress and you've got one of her legs and the torsos are actually solid as one piece, which is really nice work. Most of these are usually, you know, a front and a back on the torsos. So that means there's no seam lines down the sides or anything which is really wonderful. And here you've got the hair molded in place, which looks great. And uh, no front of the face, sort of like one of those Japanese horror movies. Ah! <laughs> anyway, there's the back of the hair for the other girl. And again, no face. <laughs> ah, boy. Anyway, there is the legs, and she's got the wonderful 70s bell-bottom pants on here, which is really groovy. How many of you remember those back in the day, or even had a pair? Let us know in the comments down below. And then there we've got the arms for the girls, as well as this wonderful purse. I wonder who would have made that purse back in that day. Maybe uh, Oscar de la Rente, or one of those. Anyway, there's one of the girls' faces right there. And as you can see, these are really tiny in comparison to like Nady or one of the other 124 scale figures. But keep in mind, these are girls, so they would be in their teens. So usually teenagers are a little smaller than fully grown adults. So now here's our second parts tree. And again, wonderful sculpting on here. The hair looks really good. There's one of the little hands, so be very careful you don't lose that. We also have one of the faces here, as well as those high heels, and I think more hair pieces. So again, really wonderfully done, and with a bit of primer and some paint, these should go together quite nicely and look really authentic. Here's our decal sheet, and these are the eyes for our girls. Now, Hasegawa was really kind in giving us three sets of eyes for each girl. So you could use these on other 124 scale figures if you're able to not lose these when you're, you know, trying to uh, get them out of the water. These are water slide decals after all. And you also get the nice little Hasegawa Hobby Kits logo, which you could put on in any other model or as a display base or, you know, placard for this display base or something. However you want to work these figures. But again, really simple. They're just basically black and white. It would have been nice if Hasegawa had these in different eye colors, you know, like maybe black, brown, green, something like that. But they just chose to use them as black dots. So, but you could always go in with a really fine paintbrush and just add a little dot onto those of a different color if you want. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little figure review. And you know what? These could also be friends for Nady in Nady's Garage. Don't forget to check out that little series in the works right now. I've got an exciting one because I'm actually going to be working on the garage and that's coming up in future videos. Now, if you wanted to see those videos of the two Japanese cars, the Toyota and the Nissan, check out this video here, followed by this video right down here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out what video or what model kits we have for sale currently right now at our online store, www.monster-hobbies.ca by clicking this little icon right down here. And until next time, everybody, happy model building, and we'll see you in the next video.